found that um, we actually had two observations with the virus. Number one, we found that it was present in the testis um, long after the initial infection. And it was a little unclear whether they actually affected sperm parameters or not. Uh, so we went on to evaluate the effect of the virus on sperm parameters. And we found that at about three to six months, there was actually a decline in sperm parameters in the people that got infected long after their infection. Uh, but then thankfully at six months, uh, the uh, sperm counts recovered in the men that were infected. So while it was reassuring, uh, we also saw that temporary decline and some people that just remained low. And we wanted to see if uh, something like this would be done by the vaccine itself. Uh, we were pretty confident based on the biology of the vaccine um, and knowing what it was able to recreate in the body, which is just one of the components of the virus, but not the entire virus, we were confident that uh, it was not going to affect male fertility, uh, but um, out of abundant uh, caution and for public reassurance and to improve vaccine hesitancy, uh, we went on to do the study uh, with the COVID vaccine.